In the previous video, we learned how to retrain a model. Now we'll learn how to perform a simulation. A simulation is the process where we imitate the process involved in live trading. In live trading, when you use a machine learning model you will need to perform many tasks which are repetitive and need to be done every time you want to trade. During the simulation, we perform these tasks for every data point and save the performance of the model. The simulation and live trading are exactly the same, when it comes to the set of tasks that need to be followed, but in a simulation, we do not send any live orders to a broker, and instead manually calculate the performance of the model. Unlike in backtesting, where we mostly use the same model across all the data points in the test data, in a simulation, we create a new model whenever the performance drops. Let us understand the process of simulation in a stepwise manner. For every data point in the simulation data we perform the following actions. Load the past data. Create the features and target data sets on simulation data. Load the pre-trained model from the local machine. Make predictions on the feature data set using the model. Calculate the accuracy of the model on simulation data. If the model's performance is good, then use it to trade. Else create the new model and save it. Do not trade at that time period. This model will be used to make prediction for next data point. If we continue to trade while model's performance is not good then we will end up losing money. In order to protect the capital, we stop trading, create a new model and only trade when the new model's performance is good. When you perform a simulation, you have to be careful not to include any part of the train data in the simulation. This will lead to a very good performance during the simulation, which will not be replicated on new data during real trading. Also, make sure you do not split your data into train and simulation after creating the features, as this might result in some feature data being computed using the train data values. In the example shown here, the feature 2 period rolling mean, is created by taking the average of two data points in the close column. Now if we split the data into two parts, where the first 10 data points belong to the train data, and the last 4 belong to the simulation data, then in the column of 2 period rolling mean of simulation data, the value in row 11 is obtained by taking the average of close values in rows 10 and 11, as shown here. Usage of train data points to compute the features in the simulation data results in what we call as the data leakage. The best way to avoid this data leakage, is to create the features and target data sets separately, for the train and the simulation data as shown here. You can also run a demo of the machine learning model in the interactive broker's TWS environment, by using the iBridge Pi library. Please read a short guide on automated execution, provided in the next section to install the TWS and iBridge Pi. We have also provided the sample code to paper trade or live trade, the decision tree model strategy on interactive brokers TWS. To access this sample code, go to the last unit of the downloadable code section, download the downloadables underscore dt dot zip file, and then copy the file, sample underscore dt underscore deployer underscore strategy dot pi, in the iBridge pi strategies folder and run it. In this section, you learned about the various challenges that you can face while using a machine learning model in live trading. You understood how to save and retrieve a model, how to update the data, and how to retain a model based on its performance. In the end, you learned how to perform a trading simulation to test the model's performance. With this, you are all set to deploy your own models and face these challenges in live trading. In the IPython notebook following this video, you can go through the simulation code in detail. Good luck!